Greetings, Elder Blacklight. The problem that the average black man that went to captivity here in America is that he's not focused. And he's easily to be deceived. The only way you can be deceived now is taking everything for granted. And we're not thinking about Our allegiance to the supreme being no matter what who you believe that the supreme being is because there are Christians who believe that Jesus Christ is the supreme being some brothers believe that that Muslims believe that um, Allah is invisible, not in human form. He's a supreme being. There are those that believe that Master Farad is our law in person. Even if you believe that, you're not demonstrating it. I'm not even demonstrating it. But at least I realize that the majority, because everything is broken down in percentage, mathematics, and the majority uh, rules. That's why they call it a democratic society, because that's what it means. Majority rules. Even though they don't believe in that. They don't practice that. The ones at the top rule. The ones that's controlling that dollar. Rule, the one that's controlling weapons of mass destruction. Rule. Because most, even the Caucasians, bow down to that kind of uh, power. They bow down to the power of might is right. That's why when I talk about righteousness, Y'all can't see it. And uh, we got to stay on that. Till you recognize that. That that's what brought the world into existence. Or the planet, brother. Because world could mean uh, another thing than planet. Or the universe world could mean uh, a system you know because we're living in the Caucasoid system you know coming from the mind of Yakub which is a black man because he wasn't satisfied he was rebellious so he made a rebellious people from the, the original now, when you pledge allegiance to the flag and the Constitution, you follow the white man's laws. When you pledge allegiance to Allah, you, you follow his laws. You can't follow both laws at the same time. So, for a number of years now, we were trying to get out. Now, some of you like, like you know, the white man's laws. So, we were trying to get out from, you know, those who are who don't, 
you know, we was following the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And although it's the Farrakhan's organization, we still haven't advanced to the next level. So, I'm going to play something. Soundtrack in the wilderness of North America. In 90 and 120 degrees, the completion of 933 degree cycles and the completion of Hill with the Unit 9 is one half way for the city of Los Angeles in the providence of K-Life, California, in the wilderness of the Northern Hemisphere, so says the Almighty God Himself. The wilderness of North America has completed itself with the teachings of Islam from the mouth of the Almighty God through its messenger. You heard so that? says the Almighty God, there is no more water the substance of life to be found. There is no life in its branches, nothing but death to be found. The water, light, wisdom, knowledge has been consumed, some by its ten percenters, some by, and mostly taken away by Almighty God. To have the wisdom and the knowledge to survive hell and the doom that is creeping into its brain and the body is to depend on the five percenters. Within the nation of Islam, the 5% teachers of righteousness teaches the true meaning of the supreme wisdom that was brought here to the shores of North America by the supreme being, Master W. D. Fard Muhammad. Through different phases and complex cycles, the true breakdown of its teachings and meaning, mainly those who have received different degrees of light, therefore within the nation as it stands of prison, this procedure has been undertaken with great strides. The rule of the 10% in the nation of Islam has come to a head, which like any other force who do 10% in the nation of Islam has come to a head, which like any other force who do not obey its natural laws and mathematics has produced its own destruction. Certain breakdowns in the supreme teachings tell of the catastrophe which has taken place. The poisonous fluid which flows in the brains of those who participate in this unrighteous act against the supreme God and its people has deteriorated itself. This cancer which produced corruption within God's bounds are paying heavy prices for the goods they have purchased. Therefore, righteousness has produced dissatisfaction against unrighteousness. Any opposition and disobedience or rebellion toward and throughout this 5% cycle results in expulsion and death from the nation of Islam within the bounds or righteousness has been revealed. Question. Where are the 5 percenters? Answer. The 5 percenters look like you and me. Some are dressed bad, some are located in the ghettos of hell, the government of the devil's educational system, the law enforcement of the devil's penal institutions, the high government of the devil's civilization. Question, what do the five percenters look like? Answer, they look like you and me. Some are disguised as high society type individuals, and some are dressed bad. Question, when will they make themselves known? Answer, they are making themselves known every day through their people, mostly the deaf, dumb, and blind who the so-called righteous Muslims have not taught, who have failed to do their duty, which is to teach the uncivilized. There is a punishment for such forgetful action, which the people will inflict upon saying for not telling the truth, the truth that was taught to them through the messenger of Almighty God. Question, how will this punishment come about? Answer, through mental and physical fighting. Question, where will most of this fighting take place? Answer, most of this bloodshed will take place south, far north and far west. Let's the stop it right the there. Of dripping if you heard, you know, heard that, if you didn't hear it, study this. We're going to come back with a part two of this. We're going to stay on this subject. Righteousness is included in this. So... Assalamu alaikum. Until next time.